Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. And in this video we're going to review episode 6, called The Eye. And Disney's plus brief description of it is, uh, of the episode says, With cover of from a speculate, spectate, spectacular local festival, the Aldhani mission reaches a point of no return. So... Long story short, in this episode, the heist does get does happen. Um, the Andor and friends does go sneak in to the Imperial base, dressing up as Imperials, uh, to um steal some credits, right? And I was immediately kind of sad that we didn't get the uh, dinner thing with Mon Mothma because admittedly that's something that I'm even was has been looking forward to, and I'm hoping that we'll get, be able to get it pretty soon because I've heard that we're I think I've heard uh, two different scenarios that kind of contradict each other. One end, I've heard that we're going to get a six episode, six episodes per season, which this show's getting two seasons. And the other thing is that we're going to get 12 episodes per both um, season. I'm hoping we get 12 episodes per season, because that would be pretty cool. Because uh, I'm honestly over the fact of Disney Plus having to do, like, all of their, um, Disney Plus shows at, uh, at six episodes. I do want to see Disney Plus branch out more regularly to, uh, at least ten episodes, at least. And, because I, I feel like that's part of the reason why Cobra Kai, uh, um, it's so successful, like, so like Cobra Kai is so successful. Yes, it's on Netflix, but the reason why that show, part of the reason why that show is so successful is because as 10 episodes, not 6, 10, so it can have, like, it can center up, bring up more, uh, um, setup than the typical 6, that's what I mean. But with that said, this show has been mostly setups, <laughs> and a lot of people have been complaining how they feel like this show is has been slow, and granted that it has been, and I do like that slow burn, because I feel like sometimes you will need that slow burn to get to the main point, and I feel all that slow burn paid off, because now this episode has been like action packed. The heist was amazing. It was a pleasure to see some more action uh, occur in this episode. Um, there is this like um, meteor shower thing that these locals do, and uh, we see uh, the Imperials give them some trouble, but not really too much trouble because they essentially back off of these guys. And so, the, this, um, these people just, like, um, do this little ritual, or press dance thing, before the light show happens. It's like a meteorite thing. The, uh, black leader that was with Andor and Friends is, like, episode four, I want to say. Four or five. He gets killed in the action. That kid who was like, who I, uh, uh, seems nervous that I call a nerd, he gets killed as well. Unintentionally, because, um, as Endor was piloting the, uh, um, the, um, the ship out of the Imperial base, one of the money loads, like, I uh, hit the guy, kid, like, really hard, I guess, and killed him. Or, he was slowly dying. 
He was able to give and uh, Andor the uh, the plot points to get out of there somewhat safely, but yeah, he so he did not make it. Even though like this uh, Maz Kanata looking creature tried to save him, yeah, that kid did not make it. So that's two people down. And the hot the guy who uh, uh ripped Andor's necklace off. He uh in the last episode, he uh tries to uh um he tries to kill like not not to kill, but he tries to bribe um Andor into taking the money and leaving the other people there. And, um... Essentially, Andre isn't buying it, and he kills that guy. And he tells the boss lady, yeah, that guy was going to, uh, um... Um... He was going to stab you in the back. I killed him. I'm the, I want my money, I want my shares, and I'm going. The woman says... Here's the guy, uh, guy's manifesto. Take it. He wants you to have it. Ender looks, and then we get, um, then we get a, uh, scene switch on Coruscant. And she's addressing the rebel attacks and on, um, on the planet that they were on. On all honey. And, uh, on Coruscant, but nobody's listening to her. And then we get back to Luthen, who I've been calling Bootstrap, who I've been calling Bill, because in Pirates of the Caribbean, he, the guy who plays Luthen plays Bootstrap Bill, and I was calling him Bill until I can remember his name, which I finally remember his name, which is Luthen. Luthen, in his antique shop, was uh, talking to a customer, and then another person said, "You heard what happened on All Denny, All Honey? There was a rebel and curse in there. So uh, you have an artifact from there." And then Luthen says, "Let me go back and go. Let me go in the back to see." Goes in the back, and he laughs. He's happy, and that's when the episode ends. And I thought this was a pretty good episode. Um, I was saying on Tim's Talks channel that I was wanting, like, there's that two sides of me. There was that one side that I en I've been enjoying the slow burn, and then there's the other side where I was wanting action. More action than there has been. Uh... In the series at on, at that point, and I'm so happy that this episode, episode six, gave um us action. And I remember somebody on the panel of Tim's talks uh, stream that I was on, which I will link in the description below. So go check that stream out. Um, and I might also have that in the pinned comments too. But definitely check the description for that a link to that stream. But I was saying, like, someone was saying on the panel that they seem to have a pattern. The first two episodes are, like, are build-ups, right? And then that the third episode has full of action. And so far, looking back, they do have a point. Because episode one, Casa, the episodes of Casa and the Would Be Me, there were slow burns, right? And then Reckoning had action. And then all... The Hani and the Axe for Kids, they were both build ups, right? And now the I, we get action. So I can, I'm beginning to see the person's, uh, what that person was saying. There's a pattern. Two episodes of build up, one episode of uh, action. And the two episodes of getting a build up, one episode of action. So. I'm beginning to see a pattern as well. Um, but I'm enjoying that. 
I'm enjoying that. And I do suggest that if any of you guys have jumped off because there was enough action in the show for you guys, keep watching, keep pushing through. I know the show can be slow for some people, and some people don't like the slowness. But, um... I, 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 um... I promise you, that slow, that build-up will pay off. Andor is my favorite Star Wars show. Especially live action show. Because so far, it doesn't require, it doesn't lay, like, doesn't lean on lightsabers and Jedi, Sith, the Force. It deals with it deals with an regular people. Kind of like how Rogue One did for the most part. And I'm enjoying that. I am enjoying that. And I hope to see more, like... As much as I like the Jedi... I kind of do want to see like more shows kind of like this where they have the more regular people um, take the forefront and um, the Jedi take the backseat too. Because like even though it's awesome to see the Jedi, people swing their lightsabers around, right? And using the force. It's great. Let's have shows like that. We are going to get Tales of the Jedi, I think, like next week or... The week after? Sure, let's have shows like that where it has Jedi Sith at the forefront. Same with Clone Wars. Same with Rebels, essentially. We're at two Jedi elites. But let's have shows like The Bad Batch. Um. Um. Mandalorian. Book of Boba. Andor. Where the Jedi takes more of a back seat and have. The. Regular people take the forefront. Give the regular people time to shine, not only the Jedi. I'm, that's part of the reason why I'm like this. That and they, I feel like this show out of all the Disney and Star Wars since Rogue One, this has honored Star Wars the most under Disney and Star Wars. Well, I should say since uh, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, because I feel like Jedi Fallen Order. Did honor uh, Star Wars too. So since Jedi Fallen Order, which is a really great game, Andor has uh, uh, honored Star Wars. So as honored George Lucas, and I really enjoyed this, and I do recommend watching this show. It might be somewhat slow, but there, like when it picks up, it's really exciting. And like in this episode, I know that Andor is going to survive the events of. The Andor so cool, so cause he dies in Rogue One. Spoiler alert! But like, there was moments in this episode where I literally were on was on the edge of my seat, and I was I caught myself thinking, "Oh my God, is Andor going to survive?" And then I just say, "Wait, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He's going to survive because he's he's around in Rogue One." So I caught myself on the edge of my seat. Even for Andor, who I knew was going to, uh, um, be in this, uh, survive. I'm looking the most forward to seeing for next week's episode, episode 7. Assuming season 1 will have 12 episodes and season 2 will have 12 episodes. I'm hoping for episode 7, we'll get, uh, um... Which I'm guessing we're going to get seven, uh, episode 7 because in the trailers, the character I'm going to say was in it. But I'm hoping we will get, uh, uh, crap, now I forget his name. Forrest Ritiker plays him. Um, look, jump cut. Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero. I'm so hoping Saul Guerrero will be in episode 7. Because, oh my god, that would be great. I, 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 like, Saul Guerrero... Was introduced in the Clone Wars. He w he was in Rebels and he died in uh, um Rogue One. He's gonna be in this show because of the trailers. I know that only because of the trailers. 
and I so cannot wait to have and or and sorry, um, Saul Guerrero being um, rogue uh, in this show and or. He is a character that I really cannot wait to see because I'm really interested. I'm really fascinated to see how uh, he has became uh, how like Saul Guerrero became on bad terms with the rebels. That's my uh, biggest interest in that. Um. So, uh, yeah, with that said, um, I'm going to stop rambling because I will just covered the episode and my thoughts, my, my, what I want to see in episode 7. What do you guys think about this episode? It was called The Eye. Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind one another. And I'll talk to you guys later. Later, taters.